Hey, welcome back everybody, Sign here again with another episode of my Forever Factory playthrough, and talked about it last episode, we need to work on power generation, because I have to run an arc furnace somehow. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, those aren't going to cut it. So first things first, uh, let me get, oop, lag spike, three nickel and three iron plates I think it was. I need to make three more medium voltage capacitors, accumulators. No longer capacitors. So I'm going to need three buckets of water as well. Oh, hey, I finally just got done. Sweet. And I was looking forward, and I'm going to need a good amount of copper plates here soon, so... Go, come over here... Three. Grab our nickel plates. All right, medium voltage accumulator. Inside is water buckets don't stack, so. Do one recipe at a time instead of just requesting all three. There we go. And then iron, nickel, and steel. Oh, I need to get this out of here. Hmm. Come on. Give me the bucket. There it goes. Okay, just request what we have. All right. It's going to give me extra treated wood planks and everything, but the main thing is I just wanted the... Uh, the thing. Bucket of redstone acid. All right, now this little setup, I could probably run the arc furnace for short bursts. Output on the opposite side. There we go. And oh, I need to check my tree farm. Just realized I haven't peeked at this thing in quite a while. Oh yeah, we're full. There we go. So we can actually just, you know, run like the thermals like we have been, charge up those capacitor or the accumulators, and then go from there. Might be our best bet temporarily. Get some steel production going. Although these things do take steel to run. So, you know, connect dynamos are a thing. These guys right here. So we're going to need the wire coil not found. Oh, it's because it's in my inventory. All right. We'll go ahead and get three of these kinetic dynamos going. Hope we still have enough iron mechanical components to do. Two. So we need two iron plates and a copper. Yep, and then I'll just grab a couple of copper ingots from here. Then you guys bring over here. Switch out. And we will go ahead and put you here and then request what's left. Also, copper plates can go away. All right. Treated wood sticks, right? How's our treated wood over here doing? Oh, yeah. Got another good amount. Let's 
17, like, let's go 20. And then, actually, what I wanted to do was right here at the top, water wheel cycles. That's one water wheel. This will be the second. This will be the third. But you can do three per Connect Dynamo. So, just request nine, okay. And we ran out of treated sticks. It's fine, we can make more. You know what, just here. Just send a bunch my way. I didn't need to put the water wheel things away, but okay. All right, so we had, how many? 20, that is five water wheels worth. Six, seven, eight, nine. Which is as much as I can do with three connect dynamos, because you can do three water wheels per dynamo. And then we're gonna need some steel. I'm just gonna request a bunch of that. Am I out of steel or something? No. There it goes. I don't know why it only sent me five. Oh well. Nine water wheels. Now I just need to get these things hooked up somehow. Let me grab... I think I've got sandstone in... One of these. Yeah. There's 12. We'll do like so. Dynamo. Oh, wrong. Scrolled one too many times there. Nope, did it again. There we go. Let's start, right? I can pull power from the kinetic dynamos and send them over here to these accumulators. Of course, now I need to get water flowing the correct way here. Mm, did not mean to do that. I need to fill this hole in so it doesn't mess with things. I don't have any buckets on me. I should probably carry two buckets around with me at all times inside my bag. But yeah, I'm thinking about getting into biofuel. Controlling one of the two, because we do have unlimited oil. So, but... The thing with that is I'm going to need a lot more steel, especially with the biofuel, because I need to build a refinery and a couple other things. Squeezer and fermenter. I've got the squeezer already, but that's being used for, you know, making the hop graphite right now. And if I'm going to do it, I might as well go ahead and just make another one. And that way we can have one that is just simply dedicated for doing biofuel with. And the, uh, the water wheels do not like to be obstructed. Which I can make this look better in the future. Probably not going to worry too much about it right away. And next I need to get up here.
we need to build like a trough to hold water up here. Let me get some of these things together and two. We'll run it across like so. I then drop a bucket of water here. And there, it'll flow off and make a bit of a mess, but you know, that's fine. I can always clean that up later. And then a bucket of water here, and that way we have water flowing on three sides of these water wheels. You can see how much faster this one is now spinning than the one next to it. do that. Unfortunately, if I was to pull from here, it doesn't count as an infinite source for whatever reason. So that means you constantly have to like hop up and down to get water into these, but it's not that much of a headache, really. There we go. So making progress on this, and let's go ahead and kind of patch this up a bit. Oh, there we go. And of course, you're still doing that, so we'll just do like that. There. Cleaner now, anyway. And now I need to get my low voltage stuff out. Now we're going to have it come to here. That'll work. Put a relay on top of that. And then I can just run low voltage wires. I could run medium voltage, it's just there's no point. I need a relay. I'm going to need another set of connectors. I don't have any terracotta cooked up. Just cook up a whole stack. We're going to need it. Need a lot of clay for doing immersive engineering stuff. Well, we're going to need, like, actually two recipes of connectors, but we're also going to need, like, six LV wire coils. And hopefully it'll be done by the time I get over here. And it wasn't. Sand away as well. Two copies of these recipes made up. Then so I need six connectors. And you get four per recipe, so. I'm gonna need more connectors or relays. Alright. Here we go. So relay goes here. We'll out. Talk ourselves pretty good there. Hey, the arc furnace is kicked in the light. It's actually smoking out the top now. <laughs> it's going to take forever, though. Off of one water wheel? Yeah, it's going to take a long, long time. So let me just have like all of those and like six more of those just in case.
if I'm going to have to bring power out and then make a right angle turn to uh, power into the capacitors. There's that. That. Connect you to you and then you to you and we should 51 times 3 coming into here now. And look at that. We've got our titanium. So if we go back to electrical age. Uh, okay, yeah. The tier 4 is this one. Oh, that's just a component plus titanium ingots. That's not terrible because you get 8 per recipe. But I want to make PCBs. Which means, oh, I need Duroplast, which needs a refinery. Well, in the meantime, we can use this to make steel, which is good because I'm actually kind of low on steel. And I'm limping through, and uh, yeah, we got like 20. All right, so if we need an empty PCB, right, that is a circuit backplane, titanium plate, and electrum wire times six in the pressure chamber three bars circuit backplane though requires duroplast sheets you can make them an induction smelter too that's cool uh, duroplast is made in the bottling machine with a metal press mold plate or in a blast chiller once we get more advanced using phenolic resin phenolic resin is made in a refinery between acetaldehyde and creosote which is good, we have no use for creosote oil. Acetaldehyde is ethanol plus silver. It does not use up this plate though, by the way. This plate is just, it's just a catalyst. And it turns ethanol into acetaldehyde. Ethanol we can get, uh, here we go, from the industrial fermenter, from, looks like potatoes, melon, tomatoes, sweet berries, Apple, sugarcane, honey, glowberry, and beetroot. Now, honestly, about the best is honey, right? You get a full quarter of a bucket of ethanol per honey bottle. That's a little bit of a pain to automate, though. But you do get the bottle back, so that helps. The second best is actually melons, because when you grow a melon in a cloche, it gives you the full melon block. Have it export into a compacting drawer and then have a filtered output on the compacting drawer so it outputs some melon slices. And so you actually get 180 millibuckets per operation versus like 120 for, well, between 60 to 120 for everything else. Minus honey, but okay, not setting up bees. We ran out of uh, hop graphite. And you're not quite ready yet. All right, well, away you go. You can go away as well. And I am going to go ahead and cut here for a minute. And we're going to let these capacitors charge up so we can see the glory of our arc is running at full speed. Because it's uh, kind of impressive. All right, well, they're full now. And... How badly is it draining these capacitors just to be running this? Not terrible. I can speed things up by doubling up the inputs here, and it'll do two operations at once. If I really want to mess things up, I can just do that, and there went all the power. <laughs> yeah, we do not have the power necessary to run this thing at full speed. It requires three high-voltage inputs at 4,096 forge energy per tick just to uh, run at max speed but it does it's I think it takes two seconds per operation and you have 12 operations running concurrently so yeah uh, let's see well that's making a stack of steel for me anyway and let's we got all sorts of stuff in here. 
go ahead and claim. Oh, it's just lead coins. Okay, fine. Be that way. So we need to work on a refinery. What we got here. Do 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 refinery. And go ahead and do that. So we need two light engineerings, two heavy engineerings, sixteen iron sheet metal, one redstone engineering. Eight steel scaffolding and five fluid pipes. How much iron do I have up here? Enough for a start. We're gonna need a bunch of plates. I basically I need a bunch of sheet metal for various things. The sheet metal blocks, the light engineering, and the redstone engineering blocks. That's gonna take a hot minute to process. Uh, how are we doing on let's just look up engineer, right? Oh, we have like no engineering blocks left, so we need steel as well. And I'm going to need mechanical components, which thankfully, you know, iron plates. I might need some steel mechanical components, in which case I'm going to probably need more steel plates. But it's not the end of the world. It's just slightly tedious having to wait for all the stuff to get done. All right, I think I have everything together. So let's go ahead and set up our refinery like over yeah, here. It's fine for now, right? And then we'll just do that. I think it is the lights go in the back and the heavies go in the front. And then is that, and I believe you were right here. Hey, look at that. I'm starting to remember how these machines look before you put them together. Right, we are going to need a fermenter, though. Um, before we get into that, maybe we should look at getting a cloche going. Okay, light bulb not found. That is made over here, right? Yes. We need glass, three paper, or three bamboo. Actually, I got more paper, so we'll use that. Glass and copper ingot. That gives us three. All right, come on. Move to the pipe quicker. There we go. That is one thing I'm looking forward to, is getting the pressurizer hooked up. Hey, look, we have a garden cloche. And that was a quest, actually, wasn't it? Uh, no reward, apparently, though. Hmm. Yeah, right here. Now we need dirt. We need melon seeds. So I just need a melon. We are also going to need a water supply. I can work that out later. Actually, what does it take to make an accumulator, right? Oh, that's really cheap. The only downside is the aqueous accumulators don't automatically output on their own. And yeah, you're full again, aren't you? All right, so our fermenter is going to be a 3x3. Three three and needs to be kind of facing here. So we're going to have one, two, three. I'll put you here for now. And then we'll just go ahead and give you seeds and some dirt. You are going to need power. You are going to need water. One second, the accumulator. This is... Oh, yeah, okay, standard. All right. You never know with, you know, custom packs. I should have everything else necessary, so let's go ahead and request that. Now we are going to need a pipe of some kind. We do have the pipes mod, which is not my favorite, but they're cheap. And it would be literally a one block solution for oh, damn it. For this situation. Because, uh, like I said, unfortunately, 
Accumulators do not auto output. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I didn't leave myself any room to work with here. Like, it's just all open space down there. There we go. This is full of water now, but like I said, it does not automatically output. Um, did goof a little, though. But thankfully, you can input water through the underside of the garden cloche. So, just give me one of these. We should be fine. Really, I'm out of compressed mechanisms. Why do you need compressed mechanisms for this? That's just annoying as that is. Um, <laughs> should I just make an immersive engineering pump? Well... Uh rather not, but you know what? It will work. I'm probably out of iron plates. Oh no, I have enough iron plates. Okay, cool. And we are going to need a cobblestone because I need to get this thing a redstone signal. All right, so we can put water in the back side as well. I do need to be careful about how I power the pump, though. Because if I power it directly with a lever on the side of it, it'll power the cloche and it will not let the cloche run. And we need to set you to output right there. So instead of what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a block here and then power the block. Hey, look, we got water flowing into our cloche now. We go ahead and pull the pole in. Now it just needs power. Well, this needs power too. Everything needs power. Well, we set up some power here recently that will, you know, kind of work for that. Oh, one, two, three, right? Because I need to be able to get to the top of that and the top of that over there. Oh, look at our low voltage stuff. See what we got going on. Hey, we have the two connectors we need. I need a relay, and I'm going to need a few wires. And relay goes here. Connector will go there, and this is always a fun one to get up to. Not so bad this time. It'll connect you. There. Hey, look, we've got power coming in. And you can see that it is actually growing a melon. Now, do I have... Yep. I'm packing drawers. Also, I need my configuration tool, because we need to lock this thing. And while that's working, let's go ahead and look up our fermenter, right? It is a 3x3, three three. need 4 cauldrons, 4 iron sheet metal, 6 more scaffolding, You're supposed to auto-output. Why are you not auto-outputting? Boom. There you go. Lock you. Let this run for a bit. Yeah, this that whole orange dot right there means auto-output. And it didn't. I might have to rig up 
like had this auto output to a hopper that then shoves it into the drawer. I'd rather not though. No, it looks like it was empty and didn't want to lay anything in because the second one went straight in without a problem. All right. More scaffolding. Now I need at least one of those. What else do we need? We need... Two lights, okay. I need four cauldrons, I need some more sheet metal. And that's everything, okay. So this one I'm going to have to pay a little closer attention on how it goes. This is our output right here. So I need to make sure that that is facing this direction over here. That means we have that and that. The light will go here. Get that torch. Let's see. I'm guessing yeah, light on top again that. Boom. Fermenter and output is exactly where I wanted it to be. Item input is right here on this blue spot, so it could have been a little better done, although yes and no. It's just one extra pipe, so it's not a huge deal. So give me two of those. I'm also going to need a blank module. And we need to make this into an extract module. Low extraction is fine. We are, we actually have the piston, amazing. Just didn't have the blank module in the system and pretty pipes does not the items in your inventory, which can be handy at times if you don't want items to get yanked out. All right, give me one of these or two or whatever. And I'm going to put you here for now. No. Sorry, I need to do that before I can right click it. You are going to Extract from the compacting drawer only melon slices. Then we'll come back over to here and be like, hey, yeah, uh, there you go. There's your input. It's going to start flowing in. Now we just need to power this thing. And the power plug, unfortunately, is right here, which is kind of an awkward up. So let me grab a bucket of water, which I can just snag from right here. Let's kind of gain the system a little bit and put a low voltage accumulator on top of that. Here, you need to go into the system though. So that way you know how to make this. All right, you can go back in and the plate not found. Okay. I figured this is one of the first times this playthrough I've used lead for anything besides my gun. There we go, we'll put that and that away. Probably do need a connector as well. So we're going to have to request some more to craft. Uh, I'm going to craft that first. There we go. And then we'll do this, do that. Seriously, what the heck was that about? 
it had an empty bucket in there still, so the system went, oh, well, I'm just going to send you another empty bucket, then, instead of telling you that, no, it ain't going to fit. All right. It goes there. Let me get in here. Is it bottom to... Ah, uh, bottom to output only. And are you going to work? Yeah, you work. Look at that. Boom. 20 millibuckets of ethanol. Now, I need a silver plate. I think I made some by accident earlier trying to make aluminum plates. Uh, yeah, right here. There we go. And I need a pipe. I'll tell you what. Give me a fluid barrel. There we go. So fluid barrel is going to be for the refinery output. Silver plate is going to go in as a catalyst. And this fluid pipe here will link up the two. And it ran for just a split second there, and we have 96 millibuckets of settled to hide. We have 120. Now this stuff we have to run through another refinery, though. But we'll worry about that in the future. Right now, this is just kind of a proof of concept that you know everything is going to work, and it seems to be working just fine. But that'll get us the ability to make printed circuit boards, and then from there, I can probably work on a biodiesel setup. So we're gonna. You'll need a decent amount of power to run all the immersive machines. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.